Iran says all foreign forces deployed to Syria without the approval of Damascus must immediately leave, particularly U.S. forces that have occupied parts of the Arab country. Iran's ambassador to the U.N., Majid Takhtar Avanchi, made the remarks while addressing a U.N. Security Council meeting on Syria. He also condemned recent U.S. airstrikes on a Syrian area near the border with Iraq. Takhtar Avanchi said such illegal moves would worsen the situation further in an already volatile region. The Iranian envoy also condemned Israeli aggressions against Syria, urging the international community to force an end to the regime's military adventurism. Takhtar Avanchi further stressed that the Syrian can be resolved solely through peaceful means. A U.S.-led coalition has been active in Syria under the pretext of fighting Daesh terrorists since 2014. Well, I think um, we can listen to the words of the former President Trump. Uh, he was very, very honest. In fact, you know, at first he said that they were there for Syrian oil. Um, but the reality is it wasn't so much so that the U.S. can profit from that oil, but to deny the Syrians access to their own oil um, and in, as a result, you know, try to starve the Syrians into submission and prevent uh, the uh, Syrians from it being able to gather momentum and uh, restore more land to sovereignty. Uh, that is the purpose that the U.S. is in northeast uh, Syria. They're occupying not only the oil fields, but the majority of Syria's wheat belt, uh, by which Syrians are, are able to eat. This is part of the sanctions. That is the short answer. But the long answer, and even Trump said so himself, is that the U.S. is in the Middle East for Israel's sake, and especially it is spending all these resources in Syria in order to appease its Zionist uh, masters, essentially.